Damian Lillard has been loyal to Portland his whole career, but that ends today. Whatever team wins a ring the year before he becomes a free agent, he will be joining to try and win a ring for himself. Our goal is six rings to make Damian Lillard the undisputed greatest of all time point guard. As a rookie, he'll still start off in Portland and he'll be here until his first free agency. He'd make the most of his situation with the Blazers by putting up some exceptional numbers for a rookie and eventually go on to earn himself the rookie of the year. His great play paired with All-Star Aldridge was enough to squeeze into the playoffs versus Kobe and the Lakers. Lillard was surprisingly good in the playoffs, even with no experience. Offensively, he was impressive, and he was scoring like he had been doing this for years. Ultimately, though, the experience of guys like Kobe and Steve Nash would be far too much in a seven-game series, and the Lakers would go on to win in six. But along the way, he got some invaluable mentoring from one of the greatest guards to ever play the game. In 2014, he'd put Nash's guidance to use and elevate his game as a playmaker. He pushed his assist averages from four games to over double with 8.4 a night this season and was becoming one of the best players playmakers in the NBA. They sneak into the playoffs again versus the two-seeded Grizzlies, and Dame will continue his elite playmaking, but the physicality of this gritty Memphis team was too much. Zebo was a matchup nightmare for the weaker LaMarcus Aldridge in the paint, and Marcus Gasol was in his prime, playing at an MVP level, which was more than enough to halt any hopes of Dame winning his first playoff series. That Grizzlies team really messed the Blazers up. I don't know if Dame is going to be able to get out of round one in Portland, and he definitely wasn't winning one in season three. The bad news was Snowball as LaMarcus left for San Antonio the following season, but on the bright side, CJ McCollum had a breakout all-star season to help out Dame. With CJ taking some of the defensive pressure, Lillard would dominate. Yo, Dame put up some of the craziest stats I've ever seen. 39 a game is ridiculous. And come playoffs, we witness a battle between two of the best point guards the NBA has ever seen. This will be a one-sided affair, however, with Curry taking game one, protecting home to take game two, winning on the road for game three, and closing out this series in four. And now with Dame officially a free agent, he'd be joining the Oklahoma City Thunder fresh off a finals win. Unfortunately, though, a major part of OKC's team left for Golden State. With the new duo of Dame and Russ actually would be fantastic. These guys played off each other's strengths very well, and the strong screens from Steven Adams opened up Lillard's game a lot. Dame would still look like the best scorer in the NBA, and he would help his team earn one of the best records of all time. Round one of the playoffs, they'd face the Phoenix Suns with an injured Booker. The MVP would average 31-6 and 9 for the series and route to a sweep of Phoenix, and Dame would finally win the first playoff series of his career. Harden wasn't intimidated by the Red Hot Thunder in round two, though. He would lead all scores for both teams for the duration of this series with a barrage of versatility, but the combo of Russ and Dame for OKC was too much to match, and Dame will be on his way to the conference finals. And I'm sure you can guess who would be waiting in the conference finals. Dame was out for revenge after last season, though. In game one, he would come out scorching hot to get his team the win. Things would not be that easy at all as Golden State rallied behind Kevin Durant in game two. He put on a clinic, and OKC had no answer defensively, and he tied his series up and still home court advantage. And in game three, we would be headed to Oracle Arena. Curry was fueled by the fans at home court and would bring his his A game as he poured in 10 threes to take a series lead 2-1. to one. Dame refused to be the knife in the finals, though. The rest of the series, he would take control. The way he was scoring, I don't think there was a player in league history that would have been able to stop him. He'd blow this series out of the water and get his team the next three wins for a trip to the finals. Cleveland would be Dame's last hurdle. They had LeBron, who was exceptional, and he was paired with Kyrie, whose handles were a tough assignment for Damian Lillard. In the end, though, Lillard was a man on a mission, and up 3-2, to two, a close game 6 gave him a chance to finish this thing. In game 6, is the close with 44 seconds left. The game is tied. If Damian Lillard can win this, he wins the championship. Tied game Lillard with the ball. 14 seconds left on the shot clock. Game clock, 35 seconds to go. He gets the screen for some bonus. Lillard using the screen. What a moment, Kevin Love. The floater. And he gets it in. 2.0 OKC lead. Cleveland has a chance to match. They have LeBron and they have Kyrie. They have options here. Kyrie with Dame on him. He gets the screen for Tristan Thompson. Oh, Steve Adams, the switch. This is not the switch you wanted. Kyrie driving it by the lane. Oh, it's off, but he did get fouled. Of course, Kyrie hits both free throws. It's a tied game, 19 seconds. Dame has the opportunity for a walk-off buzzer beater to win an NBA championship. 12 seconds left on this game clock. He's holding it for the last shot. Dame Miller, Kyrie over to him. Six seconds, five, four left. Dame working the screen to pull up three. 
Oh, it's no good. This overtime is just as close. It's still tied up. Eight seconds left. Damian Lillard has it. He's got to get up this court quick. Five seconds. J.R. Smith on him. Damian Lillard from deep three-point range. He hits it. He drains it in. Point to left. Lillard's done it. Damian has done it. He's going. He's won a championship. Yo, I can't believe he hit that. Damian just hit it. Yo! And Lillard has officially won his first NBA championship. In year six, he'd have PG-13 and Carmelo join the ranks of the team. Yeah, this team was pretty ridiculous. Come playoffs, they continue their elite play, beating all of their Western Conference opponents convincingly. And the finals was a rematch versus LeBron. Facing super teams was nothing new to LeBron, and he'd be prepared to put Cleveland on his back and attempt to carry them all the way. And he would shockingly keep this series competitive while averaging some of the greatest numbers we have ever seen. But in the end, they would win this year in six yet again, and now Lillard would officially earn in his second title. And I honestly wouldn't be surprised if Dame does end up three-peating. But I may have spoke too soon. Dame was deadlocked with Golden State in a gruesome Game 7. While Lillard was playing out of his mind, the entire match was back and forth between what was at this point a Curry and Lillard rivalry. This battle would be coming down to the wire for a trip to the finals. We're in what I want to say is Lillard's first ever Game 7, if I'm not mistaken. He's up by a one with 94 seconds left in the game. He's got the ball. Draymond green guarding him. That's an interesting defensive assignment for Draymond. Damian trying to get by him. Nowhere to go. A lot of pressure right here at this elbow. He used the screen, the lay, and he gets it in there. What a shot. Curry has the ball. This is not a huge lead for the Thunder when Curry's on the court. Only up by three. He can get that easy. Durant's wide open in the court, but he goes to the post fade, and he hits it somehow. The Thunder back on the other end. Damian Lillard with the ball. Just over 60 seconds remain in this thing. Up by one, you gotta score here. Steven Adams set the screen. He creates that separation. Dame, the pull up our loony. That's no good. Gonna stay as it. Draymond go all the way. Oh, that's a risky pass. Steph with it in the clutch here. Steph, oh, he gets the knock by Russ. Off to the race, he's Strider with the ball. Two guys to beat, he slows it down. They get the ball back up to Dame. 11 seconds left in the shot clock. He got to go pretty quick here. He's trying to force in the paint versus the taller Draymond. That's tough. He gets in there with the lay. The Warriors have possession. Only down three to get a backdoor to Clay. Russ with the great deep. Oh, there was a foul. Russ fouled out. So they traded some free throws. OKC's back up by three. 25 seconds left. No timeouts for a goal to stay. Steph Curry with the ball. One-on-one -on -one with Dame. He's driving. They're going for the quick two to step back. That's a tough shot. It rims out. Steven Adams with the ball. I think they're going to be going to the finals. And somehow this Pacers team snuck into the finals. OKC smoked those guys at five, and Dame was halfway to his goal of six. OKC has some changes in 2020, though, with the addition of CP3. His playmaking was helpful for Dame, but losing Russ and PG-13 certainly hurt the team. Dame was still ready to make a playoff run, though, even without his co-stars. Luka Doncic had an opportunity here in round one to attempt to dethrone Damian Lillard in the Oklahoma City Thunder. Dame wouldn't let it be easy, though, for Luka. Even as the sole all-star on his team, he'd give the fans of Oklahoma City hope. Nobody on the Dallas roster was able to check him, and he'd be on a tear. This series would be down to a game seven, though, and Luka would end up sealing the deal and bouncing Lillard from the playoffs. The Lakers were going to win this year versus the Bucks, and they'd be Lillard's new team after his four-year deal with OKC just ended. With his new Uber Athletic Group, it looked like Lob City Part 2 in Los Angeles. Now they could just throw the ball up and they'd go get it. Dame was able to average a new career high of assists per game, but that didn't stop him from getting his own as he still scored at a high clip of 31.2 points per game. Come playoffs, they would beat John Morant, Dame's old friend Paul George, and superstar Nikola Jokic to make it to the finals versus Kevin Durant and his latest super team. Game one in Los Angeles, Durant started slow with only one shot in the first quarter, but that was only because his teammates James Harden was feasting the entire first half versus KCP. Eventually, LA made adjustments and Alex Caruso was able to slow Harden down. Unfortunately, Brooklyn had enough firepower that Kyrie now started to eat. Things weren't looking good for the Lakers, but LeBron James would turn things up a notch and get back control of the game to get his team the one the zero lead. In game two, the Nets' lack of rim protection became apparent. The Lakers' new game plan was to feed Anthony Davis, and boy, let me tell you, it was working. I was surprised that he was even healthy, but he'd do more than enough to guarantee a win in game two. When this series went to Brooklyn, though, it also headed into a changed narrative. The Nets' big three were sharp at home. They'd be dialed in and refused to fall short. They got this thing back tied up two to two before heading back to LA for a huge game five, where they would carry that momentum with a third straight win, and you could just feel the frustration from Damian Lillard. He'd use his 
his frustration as fuel for game six though as he erupted for his playoff career high 57 points and got the lakers within reach to repeat in game seven and we find ourselves in another game seven versus kevin Durant. this time of course with the brooklyn nets down by one this time around dame with the ball 80 seconds remaining he's driving in he attacks he almost gets the m1 he's going to the line and lillard sinks both free throws kyrie Irving has the ball minute 12 left down by one he's driving and he goes to the free throw line and we're now right back where we just were dame down by one again with a minute left attacking Kyrie one on one again he's driving again and another leg take the one point lead again brooklyn has it now Kyrie going at dame again it's the point guard matchup here Kyrie and dame are attacking each other one on one 50 seconds left he gets the screen from lamarcus aldridge Kyrie attacking a pin again the pull up and that's good one point game again Lillard with the ball 44 seconds to go he's going quick attacking Kyrie he gets stopped he's driving in and dame with the windmill oh my god Kyrie on the other end, 35 seconds. He's going straight to the paint and he dunks it. This is ridiculous. I don't know what's going on here. Dame or Kyrie do not dunk the ball like this, but it's a one point game. 29 seconds left. It's in Dame's hand. He's driving to the paint again. It's too easy. I can't believe this. Is Kyrie going to match him again? Durant or LeBron have not touched the ball. It's all Kyrie and Damian. Kyrie. Get open, serving the field. He's driving it on Andre Drummond. That's no good. He gets the board down and he puts it in. Dame's down one. No timeouts. 15 seconds. They're going to have to go quick here. It's the time for Damian Lillard to secure himself another ring. 10 seconds left on the clock. Kyrie guarded him. Damian Lillard, one on one. Six seconds left. Four. What's he going to do? The screen from Drummond. He gets open for three. He is it at the buzzer. A walk off in game seven. Dame does it again. It's Dame time, baby. He seals the deal. And Dame is now only two rings away from six. Lillard was reunited with an old friend here in 2022 as Russell Westbrook joined the Lakers. Dame and Russ already had chemistry and it wasn't as much of a disaster as the Russ Lakers IRL. And this team ended with a 57-25 record. But Anthony Day to Davis hurt his ankle come playoffs and Luka Doncic would terrorize the Lakers in round two of the playoffs. There was zero paint protection as DeAndre Jordan got significant minutes and Luka would torch this Lakers team and they would end up falling to a 4-0 sweep. I know people exaggerate how much he gets injured and stuff and really mock him but like he really gets hurt every time i use him on the lakers they beat in the finals the following year though versus the hawks the lakers were heavy favorites to win this series backed by lillard and his impeccable play but trey young had other plans he took over the finals and would pick through the lakers highly rated defense and shocked the world by winning four games straight yo how do you get swept by atlanta there's no way the next season the lakers in the finals again this time matched up with cleveland lillard didn't want to relive the disappointment he felt the previous season versus atlanta and went off in game one to game guarantee his team a one game lead to start this series out and continue that momentum with another win in game two the cavaliers would get it done in their home court in game three but from there it was all damon lillard the rest of the series and he'd be earning himself another piece of hardware and officially his fifth championship out of our goal of six lebron was satisfied with adding one more ring and would enter retirement after that championship anthony davis also left toronto to get canada's free health care for all of his injuries and needless to say the lakers sucked the warriors will win it all that season they become dame's next destination after becoming a free agent the entire team was aged though and this team fell completely short of the playoffs and to make matters worse curry just retired this warriors team does not look good at all but at least damian lillard only has one year left in his contract maybe he can squeeze in one more championship women yama won the spurs a ring this year and now dame would have one final opportunity for number six the spurs were stacked with guys like Bronny james playing at a very high level victor women yama of course still eating and even robert williams was great for the pick and roll with dame and lastly franz would round this stacked team out in the playoffs he beat his old team portland in the first round in six go on to defeat another previous team oklahoma city and sga in round two and in the conference finals it was versus a six-seeded wolves team who they beat to advance to the finals where they'd have a chance to end it in five game five of the nba finals the spurs are up by one with a minute left dame is going for number six he's old he's not the star no more but he's still on the team trying to win still trying to produce Bronny james with the ball they have a stacked team wins the screen Bronny all the way to late it's no good, but Lewis gets it and he puts it back in. This Magic team does not have a ton of talent, but they, they're here. They are in the finals for a reason. Miller driving in. That's a tough play. Beautiful little double clutch. One point lead, Bronny James has. I don't think they're going to get it to Dave, man. These ball hogs. Give it to Dave. Give it to Dave. Bronny attacking. Spin move. He's searching for an opening. He's in the post. They get it to Dave, but he kicks it straight out to Franz Wagner. 
Nine seconds left on the shot clock. Wimby win it. Is Victor Wembanyama clutch? He's too big. He barrels his way in and gets the lay to go. Orlando with a chance to tie it or possibly go for the quick two. I imagine they want to go for the three here, though. They get it over to Murray. They are going for the two. That's a bad shot. Santana gets the rebound. That might do it. And there you have it. Number six for Damian Lillard. He's done it. He's completed the challenge. He got six rings with three different teams. But what about the other 27 teams? Check out this video where I won a ring with all 30 NBA teams in one vid.